DevOps, which is a short for development and operation, which is a set of practices that aims to improve collaboration and communication between development and operations team in order to deliver software products more efficiently and reliably. It is a combination of cultural philo philosophies, practices and tools that help organizations to achieve faster, more frequent and more reliable software delivery. So if you're new to this channel, hi, welcome back to my channel, A Monk in Cloud. A Monk in Cloud is a community where we discussed anything and everything related to cloud and DevOps. So the importance of DevOps lies in its ability to bring together the traditionally soiled development and operations team to work towards a common goal of delivering high quality software in a fast and efficient manner. In today's fast paced and competitive business environment, DevOps has become an essential component of software development, enabling organizations to stay ahead of the curve and meet the ever-increasing demands of the customers. So if you want to learn this technology, there should be a minimum effort or I would say most of the effort that should come from your end to learn this technology or to achieve your goal. Right? So I'm sure if you're watching this video, you are looking for a six months DevOps study plan, which you can help, which can help you to bag a DevOps engineer role or anything, any role relevant to DevOps, right? So without wasting much time, let me go back to my uh, blog where I have written the six months study plan, which you can use and prepare for your DevOps study plan. Right. So this is the table of content, which you, if you want to hover over anywhere, you can just click on them and it will redirect you directly there. OK, first. So becoming a DevOps engineer requires a combination of skills, knowledge and experience in various areas, including software development, operations, automation and cloud technologies. Right. So this is the six month plan that will help you on your journey towards becoming the DevOps engineer. OK, so for this, what I've done is I have set myself a rules, some rules which helped me a lot during the preparation time. OK, so the thing is, I will dedicate minimum two hours a day of deep, non distracted work and study. Right. I've mentioned it as work because I would do hands on most of the time and less theory. OK, so the second point is build projects every weekend without forgetting. Dedicate the next six months for your DevOps itself. After that, you can chill out you, after getting a job. You can chill out and, and have some time for yourself. But the next six months, spend some time on weekends to build projects. OK. So the third thing is journal everything that you study. Basically, whatever that you do, take a keep a notes for your own DevOps journey. Keep uh, at least a 300 pages notebook. Document everything. It not it need not be a neat uh, notebook. You can write whatever that you feel you want to write. Right. So keep a journal for yourself. Build project every week with documentation. I've already done this in the second uh, point here build project every weekend. So after building the project, the next thing that you need to do is you need to document it. So if I ask you to do the same project again, you should be in a situation to go back to the documentation and you have to make some cheat sheets for yourself so that it will help you in the future. OK, or else you can create a blogging site or a YouTube channel to document your learning. So initially a monk in cloud started like that. So I had few projects in my mind. So I started putting out content related to my projects that I'm building and the community grew up. So there are a lot of perks that I'm getting as part of this community and you would also get it in the future, right? So who knows some recruiters may see your YouTube videos and come back to you saying that, Hey, I liked your video content. So would you be interested in working for us? Right? So that can also happen, right? Who knows? So throughout six months, 
learn a command every day and try to use it wherever possible i'm speaking about the linux command right so there are a lot of commands so it will be really difficult for a person to understand all the command and use all the command in everyday life so what you can do is you can create a t2.micro instance and keep it okay so for your lab session right so use that for one hour and shut it down or terminate you can also use uh, once you uh, work tomorrow you can create a new instance and use it and again terminate it so do this for continuously six months and your linux skill also will improve right so hope you're uh, liking the content if you're liking the content just go to that like button and hit that like button i'm targeting 100 likes on this video please okay so the first month so which would if this is uh, i'm assuming that you do not have any background in the devops and cloud right so if you are like that dedicate the first month in learning fundamentals of devops and cloud computing okay so week one i'm just outlining things here if you want to you know mix and match that is left to you but you can follow this if you do not know right if you are struggling to make a plan this is what you can take it so week one learn the basics of devops right so what is devops what are its principles what are the benefits of it how it started learn all of them thoroughly get your basics done week two and week three familiarize yourself with cloud technologies like aws azure and google cloud so if you want to learn about aws right i have a lot of tutorials made on this channel you can go to playlists and search for aws there are a lot of tutorials on this channel also right so you can learn any any of the cloud for that matter learn about their core services core services can be an iam s3 ec2 right so pick up one service from each background and start learning those core services right so it can be vpc security and their pricing models also that will be uh, helping you a lot week four dedicate yourself to learn about version control systems like um, git and basics of infrastructure as code so why i'm asking you to learn the infrastructure as code here itself means when you familiarize yourself with the cloud itself right so you would be uh, doing some projects in the aws management console or azure portal right or google cloud console so what you can do is you can write the same code in terraform or any of the in infrastructure as a code tool and keep those code on the github right so in that way you would be learning version control tool also infrastructure of code basics of it right so go for very basics uh, first see how to create an ec2 instance create a s3 bucket then build on it right so don't just go and start uh, copying the code from the internet and do it no go through the terraform documentation and also at the same time learn the git also git hardly takes a day for you to learn entire concepts right as and when you do this you will learn that right so that will be your first month strategy next the second month concentrate on autonom automation and ci cd basically continuous integration continuous deployment right i have divided this into two weeks week one Get hands-on experience with automation tools such as Jenkins, Travis CI, Circle CI, or GitHub, GitHub, GitLab, or CI, GitLab CI CD to build and deploy our application automatically. Right? For example, consider a Java application. So, what you would do to continuously integrate and deploy your Java application? Right? So, you can pick up Jenkins or Travis, anyone that you want to. But Jenkins is the widely used uh, uh, CI CD tool in the current market. So if you want to go with that, go with that and pick up that. Okay. So week one and two concentrate on this. Week, week three and four focus on setting up a full CI CD pipeline that includes testing quality checks. You can use uh, Sonar Cube and deployment to the production environments so consider your uh, you know your own aws account as your production account and explore the other ci cd tools such as you know and platforms such as github actions azure devops and aws code pipeline 
right so explore these things if you are like uh, why i mentioned azure devops is because if you are learning azure you can also pick up azure devops but if you are learning aws you can go with aws code pipeline right so this is what i am asking you to do in the month two again you remember so this should always be there throughout the six months you should learn a concept every day related to linux that you should not forget apart from this you need to keep doing that because linux is a key for everything that you are seeing on on screen now okay the third month you concentrate on monitor monitoring and orchestration right week one and two learn about monitoring and log management tools such as nagios grafana prometheus elk stack right so you can uh, for example if you're comfortable with grafana grafana is a really beautiful tool i know grafana personally i've learned grafana and prometheus you can go and work on that right so you can set up a monitoring for your application and infrastructure week three and four learn about container orchestration tools such as kubernetes and docker spam i assume that you already know docker right so but if you do not know docker what i would do is learning grafana and you know prometheus will not take one, two weeks of your time instead what you can do is one week you can dedicate and learn your learn grafana and the next week you can learn docker right so three and four dedicate yourself for kubernetes and docker swarm anyone which you can but if you're a beginner go with docker swarm after learning docker and then get started with kubernetes i'm i'm not saying that you would be master of kubernetes by the two weeks no that is impossible uh, uh, it takes a lot of time and effort to learn kubernetes itself i'm, I'm still learning kubernetes so learn how to manage containerized applications at scale and how to set up Kubernetes cluster on cloud providers such as AWS, Azure or Google Cloud. Okay, so that should be your third month plan. Fourth month, you go for advanced automation and infrastructure as code. So week one and two you concentrate on learning advanced automation concepts such as using configuration management tools like uh, ansible or perfect right so you can learn this one if you do not want to go with ansible you can learn try and continue learning your terraform itself explore terraform here itself right so one and two week one and two work on terraform right so uh, you can ignore ansible as of now you can learn ansible after getting into a team right so that should be your fourth month plan week one and two week three and four go dive deeper into infrastructure as code right you it can be aws cdk or it can be your terraform also dive deep into terraform if you want to dedicate yourself here ansible you can do that after learning ansible come to terraform or you can do you can mix and match i'm just outlining here what you are supposed to do but you can mix and match here okay but do not forget that rules that we have kept right so the fifth month is about security and compliance learn about security and compliance in the fifth month basically learn about devops security best practices such as using secure coding standards secrets man management and infrastructure hardening learn about those things in week one and two week three and four learn about compliance frameworks such as pc high hipaa and SOC 2 all those things understand how to implement devops practices in compliance environment right so that is important sixth week and the uh, sixth month and the final month build on real world projects right real world experience and continuous learning keep on learning until you get a job first two weeks practice real world projects pick up some projects where you can where you have a small it can be very simple project like deploying a, a web application on your kubernetes cluster right so deploying a, a, a web application you are using your ci cd pipeline that you have built right so you need to build on your projects okay one and two so sixth uh, i mean week three and four attend devops conference or meetups to learn about the latest trends and practices in the field so this is not only for the, the sixth month uh, week three and four i i wanted to mention it somewhere so i've mentioned it here but you can keep learning here also and regularly do this 
in the six months plan right so you would get a lot of conference on aws azure or it can be devops right so attend those conferences even if you do not understand pick up a wor word from that conference after coming back note a word that, that you haven't heard make a note of it come to home do some research on that get the understanding right so do not miss a sim single conference if you are staying in a city or a tier 3 or a tier 1 or tier 2 any any uh, cities right attend these conferences i'm sure that your uh, you know uh, your users um, you know aws user groups and all those things will be there in and around uh, your location try to attend those conferences or else attend your colleges as a speaker go and speak about cloud and devops right so whatever you know go and help help learn uh, help your students learn about cloud and devops go and build projects with them right S try and you know mingle with uh, students and also with the community as much as possible i'd been to my college presented how um, you know cloud and devops are moving and the trends in the future right so those kind of things you can do it right always in the six months you interact with a lot of devops people people who are working in the devops industry right remember that you know becoming a devops engineer as a continuous learning process and this six months plan is just the beginning right so you you will know where uh, you know land uh, if you miss out on this one i'm not saying that you will definitely land a job after you know completing this six months but i'm just giving an idea on how to get started so continue to learn new technologies collaborate with teams and participate in open source projects to deepen your knowledge and experience right so that's all i can give you so all the best for you good luck i hope you land a cloud or a devops job after the end of you know six months so even i'll try to uh, you know uh, work on this one i will also pick up this as my you know challenge this one and i would also build on my devops uh, skill set right so uh, most of the things i do not uh, don't i know and most m some of them i do not know even i have to learn them and along with that i would try to learn other tools also right so yeah that's about this six months plan on becoming a devops engineer right so if you're liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one bye bye